Welcome to my avatar tutorial and today I'm going to turn this photo here into one here. Da -da. Um, so let's get cracking. I've actually started already. The first stage I'm doing is I'm removing my eyebrows as if I'm playing some drunken practical joke on myself. We're going to use two tools for this, the clone stamp tool and the spot healing brush. So what we want to do is make the eyebrow basically into our skin colour. So you want to go somewhere near your eyebrow and hold the alt key on your keyboard. You'll get like a, a target um, type icon. Have a click and then when you go over your eyebrow, you can see the little cross above. Um, where the cross is, is the colour that you're putting into your eyebrow there. Um, so Keep going alt and choosing bits of skin uh, around your eyebrow to, to get the natural colour. And I'll do a bit on this eyebrow as well. So it doesn't feel left out. It's going, hey, other eyebrow, where are you going? What are you doing behind? And I also use this um, spot healing uh, brush just to kind of smooth things over a bit. So um, just kind of blends it in a little bit. Uh, so use a mixture of the two tools. And when you're happy that you've nicely removed your eyebrows, you should have something like this. Ta -da! So what we need to do now is the trickiest part of this, I think, actually. We need to redo our nose and make our eyes a bit bigger and a bit cattier. And to do that, we go to Filter and Liquify. Uh, the first thing I do here is zoom in. So at this stage we want to make our eyes bigger and kind of remould our nose and above our eyes. Um, what I would suggest to do here is um, compare what you're doing with, um, with a poster from Avatar and kind of have a look at uh, what it looks like on there. Now there are two tools I use for this. It's the forward walk tool and the bloat tool. I'll start with the bloat tool. The bloat tool bloats things up. Um, so we're going to bloat our eyes up just to make them a bit bigger because they have much bigger eyes. Um, so I just aim for the centre of the pupil and make them bigger. Uh, one's bigger than the other there. And the forward walk tool, kind of, you can use it to, um, well, I'll show you, it's hard to describe. It kind of uh, reshapes things in a way. Um, so I'll just make the eyes just a little bit cattier. I just kind of drag them out a bit there, just to make them a little bit, a bit more cat like. And we use this tool to um, remould the nose as well. Now, I'm, I, I won't do this first time while showing you because it took me about 10 goes to get it right. Um, but what you want to do is play around with the brush size and the brush pressure and basically um, remould the nose and go over and above where your eyebrows used to be. I always have my fingers poised over Control Z because I keep. You know, it never, it never looks quite right the first time around. Um, but just keep playing around. Uh, and down the nose. Um, and basically, make your nose fatter and kind of flatter. Uh, I might be pressing a bit too hard there, so you've got your brush pressure. I'm going to set it down a little bit. It takes a lot of playing with the sizes and the pressures and everything. Um, but when you're happy with what you've got, click on OK and then use the, um, I use the spot healing brush um, just to kind of tidy it up a little bit. Yeah, just go over and tidy things up. But basically what you're aiming for is something like this. Uh, let me zoom up again. So you can see I've made the eyes a bit bigger. And you can see I've, I've fattened the nose. Okay, now we want to turn ourselves blue. So what you want to do is select brush. Um, also, what I would do at this point also is duplicate the layer. I'll explain why in a moment. Um, so right click your layer and duplicate layer and work from that. I shall show you why. So go to your brush and you want to make sure you've got um, your basic brushes chosen. And um, set the mode to colour and set the opacity. You'll play around with the opacity, but uh, set it to, I don't know, about, I don't know, about 50. And choose uh, the blue colour. Uh, you want to go quite a lightish blue, I think. Um, so choose the blue. And then go just go over. Um, now the reason I've duplicated my layer is because, like right now, I'm going over my mouth, I'm going over my eyes. Um, because I've duplicated it, so I've got the layer underneath, I can get the eraser tool and 
a raise over the bits I've gone over so that my eyes don't go blue and my mouth and teeth don't go blue. If I didn't duplicate the layer, I couldn't do that because I'd be doing that and just kind of cutting holes. Once you've cleared this off in, just go over it again just to get a nice shade of blue. So uh, let's clear this off in. When you've finished, you should have something like this. Ta -da! Uh, let me zoom in there again. So you've got a nice shade of blue. Okay, so now we want to make the eyes yellow. All I'll do is zoom up in onto the eye there. Um, you want your brush tool, uh, set it to normal and opacity to 100 because you've probably got it on colour and 50 for the moment. So normal 100, click down here and we're going to just draw over the eyes. Um, I can stay off, stay off the very centre, go over the eyes. Uh, you're going to get this red colour, don't worry about that. I'm going to turn that red into the yellow. Uh, so get into the eyes there. I'll just do one pupil for the moment. Uh, when you've done that, again, click on this icon here. Make sure you're happy with the mask that's chosen there. I'll just click the mask tool there. Um, right click and select inverse. Now go to um, image and adjustments and go to colour balance. And you want to be playing around with the yellows here. So you know, we've got mid tones chosen. Uh, Bring the yellow up, uh, shadows, bring the yellow up again, uh, highlights, definitely bring the yellow up on that, and OK, and give me the dodge tool, just to clean it up a little bit. When you're happy, so there's one yellow eye, do the same to the other yellow eye, and uh, when you're finished, you will have something like this two yellow eyes. Okay, so we've got the eyes done. Now we're going to um, create the oval and try and uh, mimic the movie poster a little bit. You don't need to do this stage. If you're happy having whatever background's behind you, then that's fine. So feel free to miss out the step and skip ahead. But what we do is we choose the elliptical marquee tool. We draw around our head. Uh, and then we right-click and select inverse. Then we get the paint bucket tool. Uh, set the tolerance to 100 and choose a black colour and just basically um, black around. But what I forgot to mention also is uh, choosing the uh, mask tool again. Right click and uh, refine edge and choose. I've got, I'm probably going to get three pixels, play around with that. So get the paint bucket tool and just turn the background black and uh, go back to your mask tool, click outside. We'll have something like this. Now we're going to add the tribal markings and the sparkles on the face. And for this, I'm going to take you to a website, which is www.obsidiandorm.com. I'll put a link in the bottom there. Click on brushes and choose uh, designs. And we're in here. There are two lots of tribal brushes you should download. And so here's tribal brushes number one. You see the kind of markings you get. Get that downloaded. Do the same for tribal brushes number two. You want to extract them into um, wherever Adobe Photoshop is. Uh, you have presets and then you have brushes. Get them whacked in there. And uh, they also have um, great sparkly brushes as well. That's in the fantasy section here. Get, get the glitter brushes and the sparkle brushes. Okay, so once you've got the tribal brushes installed and your sparkles installed, you're probably going to need to reboot Photoshop for them to appear in your brush menu. So um, save your picture and restart Photoshop and your new brushes should appear. So click on brushes and in this section here you'll have some new brushes. Um, so click on one of the tribal brushes. Okay, before we do this, I've just reminded myself, duplicate the layer. Uh, I'll show you why. It's for the same reason as before. Um, so choose your brush. They're always, by default, set on the maximum size. So it doesn't look like you've got anything chosen. And if you do anything, it's just huge. Set it down and set the mode to overlay. And also set the colour to a dark blue. Um, okay, and what we'll do is we'll choose a brush. So, I don't know, let's go for this one here. See, it looks like I've chosen a brush and I can't see the shape. If I turn it 
down in size I can see the shape so something like that for over the eyes set it to overlay and boss play around with the opacity as well now handy handy hints here very useful click on this menu here and click on brush tips we can change the angle of brushes and I'll show you why we want to do this um, if we choose another another brush uh, again I can't see the shape I've got to turn the size down um, we don't always want it to be horizontal because you know it doesn't look right if everything's horizontal so for example this one we can change the angle of the brush and so this one can come down from the ear for example now why have we um, duplicated the layer well I'll show you because we've duplicated the layer we can kind of go over edges and it doesn't matter because we can use the eraser tool again and that will just show the layer underneath also if there's some brushes are maybe too big you want to just kind of brush bits out because we've got the layer underneath and we can do that and uh, if we didn't have the layer underneath it would uh, have lots of holes in it i have a temptation to just kind of overdo it and i maybe have done a bit here but uh yeah i just have to have lots of shapes and then you can see i've gone fairly low with the opacity now it's time to add the sparkles and to do that we need to uh, use one of our sparkly brushes and so i'll go to ss sparklies and I choose brush number 714 for this. You want to play around with other brushes, you go ahead and set the um, size to something pretty small. Let's create a new layer. A uh, new layer. I will call it uh, Sparkle. We don't call it anything. But basically, what it is is this layer is the brush. And the reason I've created it is because I want to create an outer glow to this. Um, we want a kind of bluish glow to it and uh, I guess we can create an inner glow as well um, like a light inner glow just to make it more vivid uh, okay and we want this brush to be I guess white or uh, a blue white um, but by putting the outer glow on there you can clump a sparkle on and you can see it's just got that blue tinge to it so what we want to do is decorate this off in sparkle it's very nice uh, different sizes again, we want something nice and small and then once it finished we'll have something like this now uh, what we want to do next is just um, make that ear a little bit more elfish and um, so again filter liquefy, this is something I could have done and could have, could have done earlier zoom in on that ear uh, use the finger walk tool and just uh, put it on size 31 just drag it so we have like um, Elfish looking ear, and I'll do that again. There you go, like an elf ear. All that remains now is to add some writing. So click on the text tool, and the font you want to choose is called Papyrus. Write whatever you like. Let's be creative, let's write Avatar. Avatar. And move that in there. Uh, now that's too blue at the moment. I think it wants to be a lighter blue. Uh, the text tool and choose uh, a lighter blue and what you really want to do now is uh, go into the settings for the fonts and you want to do a bevel and emboss and texture and also go to outer glow and change it from yellow to uh, like a lighter similar kind of blue and no cluster there you have it one avatar picture thank you very much for watching uh, please let me know if you want me to make any other tutorials and uh, please do send me your avatar pictures i'd love to see what you've made i'm sure you can do better ones than i've done i really look forward to seeing them thanks for watching bye bye